My grandfather was a fisherman. My father was also a fisherman. I'm a fisherman. My next generation also works as fishermen. My name is Zudong Liang, 81 years old. Zudong Liang, an old man with clear, clear muscle definition. And a fisherman's iconic tan skin. He is the oldest fisherman on this river. I have been watching him fish here since he was just 16 years old. At that time, there were more fish than now. Carp, black carp, and long snout catfish. You could catch so many types of fish here. The fish dish on the fishing boat is delicious. How? You can cook it and eat the fish all the way. The hot oil in the wok keeps crackling along the way. I am river and lake. My meandering body is full of fish, prawn, crab and aquatic plants. Tens of thousands of years Human ago, beings created the so-called river cuisine with the help of which fire is full of the spice side. of life. Three meals a day. Tens of thousands of meals in a person's lifetime. And what lifetime. kind of story of mine are these meals telling? Most of the time, I am like a long snake. Looking for a path to the sea, between mountains and plains. Poets in ancient times who had seen this called landscape. it the mighty river flows eastward. As the path changes, I will be divided into upstream, midstream, and downstream by you. And all kinds of species which can be in used as ingredient will provide nourishment for humans in upper reach areas. Among them, the critical species are of course a wide variety of river fishes. We eat fish all the time. When we have diners coming here, they always order fish. If I suggest pork, he will say, we don't like it. They just like to eat fish. Early in the Stone Age, you came here to catch the river fish. Later, in order to eat fresh fish at any time, you learned how to dig ponds More for than 3,000 years ago. The first thing in fish farming is about choosing the right soil. Acidic soil is your best the choice. The second is the water Natural source. Natural water or river water is the best. You have found out that the upstream area of me is one of the few areas rich in selenium on earth. The rich selenium in the soil can provide an excellent environment for fish. Under transpiration, selenium integrates into the water vapor in here. The vapor rises and condenses to form rainfall which will rain back into my body. In addition, selenium in the soil will flow to me with the rainfall too. Fish living in me absorbs a large amount of selenium. So people call this fish selenium rich fish. But any working or living activity of you humans may pollute me. To keep the fish grow healthily, you have to take extra care of my physique. The third is that you have to keep the water You clear. need to have a bottom exhaust system. You and need to splash the a number water of regularly. Ecological photosynthetic and also bacteria use and bleaching the powder for water treatment, such as sterilization and disinfection. You have also noticed the necessity of species biodiversity. So you make a three-layer fish polyculture system. Chub on top, grass carp in the middle, and carp and crucian carp at the bottom. In such way each species is given enough living and space. And there is a scavenger in the system. After the pond is ready, and the fish is nourished for two to three years. It's time to harvest.
if the scales are pointed and feel a bit thorny to the touch. It's male. If the scales are rounded, it's female. Like here. It is not obedient. I am River and Lake, the hometown of your favourite wild river fish. In recent decades, because of ecological changes and your overfishing, the river fish stocks are actually declining. You have therefore stipulated a closed fishing what season. What I can recuperate. During such season, farmed fish is the main alternative. This city around me is foggy and humid all year round. The locals living here therefore have developed a bold and unconventional character. Sometimes you call it heavy taste. Chungqing has been presenting the look of dock culture. Although the species in the river are not so very dare as to marine that is growing in the river. The way we prepare it is quite rough. So it is called Jianghu, the river cuisine or common folk cuisine. Although I don't appreciate that Chungqing chefs A lot of pepper and Sichuan pepper on any ingredient. The spicy flavor and oily texture are indeed the traditional means of Jianghu cuisine to remove cuisine. moisture and keep out the cold. On the other hand, new generation of gourmets are also exploring new ways to deal with the moisture these newcomers might write a new chapter for the river dishes. Add some salt, brandy and water to get rid of the fishy flavor and sterilize. Placed it in a refrigerator from zero to, to leave five it marinated degrees for half an hour. Then evenly spread curry powder on the surface scallion, of the marinated and fish. Lemongrass. These spices not only produce aromatic molecules, but also remove the fishy flavor, enhance the umami, and even make the look of the dish more colorful. Finally, the fish is wrapped with banana leaves and ready to go into the oven. They grill until the cold in the fish is driven out, but the fish is still juicy. Then they smoke the grilled, Fish with burning tea leaves. This smoking material is healthy. And the fragrance of tea leaves and banana also leaves also enrich the taste of fish. For the last step, we use a flame gun to form a crispy layer on the skin of the fish, which gives a better taste when we eat it. This dish is finished by this time. After enjoying the tasteful river fish, this city at the upstream of the river enters its sleepless night. And my count keeps running towards the sea. Like it did in the past hundreds of millions of years. It's only two o'clock in the morning. This man and his wife living by a lake tributary have already get dressed and boarded their fishing boat. It takes two hours for them to go to their destination eastward. Besides the diesel engine, there is not much difference between Mr. Mao who is on the road and thousands living of on a boat by fishmen. water for thousands of years. The moonlight is dark and the fishing light looks like Ripples a lonely butterfly breeze scatter and become stars over the river surface. Things have been the same from the ancient vast Yunming Yunming lakes. lakes formed 1,600 years ago. And Taihu Lake, Hong's Lake. At the lower reaches, they learn on the boat, work on the boat, dine on the boat, go to bed on the boat. The boat is their home and vice versa. Now the sun is about to rise. Mr. Mao and his wife have come to where the tributary joins into and the lake and prepared to cast their fishing net. Here, there is a group of dark ninjas who don't like light. When the sun rises, they hide in the darkness at the lake bed, in water grass. 
in the rock cracks, or under the ship. They only appear in groups at night. At this time, they immediately adjust to the mode of a troublemaker. They eat, fight and have fun. Mr. Mao understands the temper of this group of small creatures in the dark very well. During springtime, there is a kind of step by the lake shore, which is actually hard soil. That place is clean and breathable, and a perfect place to put your net there. You can get a lot of river prawns. With a cabin full of river prawns. This time they're and it going takes up the more time to return where they came from. River prawn might look humble, but it's the most popular in this lake district. It is rich in phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium, which have important regulatory on heart activity. It's hard to predict how much you can get even. Sometimes the professional you can get more catcher. than 50 kilograms. Sometimes you catch too little that it's not enough to sell. Next, Mr. Malkan spends some quality time with his family, which includes cooking on the boat. For his son who has to commute to the land, the river prawns were caught in our Poyang Lake. So they are very clean. We just need to rinse them with water and they're ready to go into the wok. Per 100 grams of edible portion of the river prawn. Contains 16.4 grams of protein. They are a rich source of protein in me. They are good for someone who is still under physical growth. Stir fry them directly with high heat. This method fully demonstrates the nature of the river cuisines. We have a saying here. The prawn has no intestine. Eat it immediately it means they when can it can be served fine. right after you put them on the wok. My son does not like the river prawn much, but his diet is not balanced. Had it not for my son, who goes to a high school nearby, I would have been fishing in the Poyang Lake downstream. Fishing and prawn catching there are much easier than here. My main purpose is that I can supervise his learning. Occasionally I can teach him a lesson admonish him a little bit. In fact, like most fishermen, Mr. Ma used to sail his boat on a half-day trip to go deep into the lake to go fishing. But it will be a long journey, taking up all his time. In order to spend more time with his family, especially his son, who will take the college he decided to change his long-term work schedule and thus change his target. His summer holiday. Xiaobo who is about to enter the last an year apartment in high school. near his school, but he goes home for his dinner every day. This also becomes a short quality time for them to get along. My father died when I was just 15 years old. I couldn't get education. My mother was over 60 years old at that time, so she couldn't afford my tuition. Life was so hard for our generation. So I just want my children to live the same life as those city people. Did my son arrive? My son just returned to his apartment, right? He is back. He just came back.
in this era. More and more fishermen and their next generation boats choose to go ashore to live. This is the result of social change. Looking at the back of the family who is leaving. Will he be, Will lonely? I be lonely? Maybe in the future, after several years of ecological restoration, my body will become healthier. With more fish and prawns are once again. At that time I will see the fishermen return with their children. When I was young, worked for others on board. I made fishing nets. I'm 100 years old. This primate beside me was once a lovely and hard-working girl. By weaving hemp net for catching salangit, she supported her family. We were unwilling to eat those good fish. We just ate the cheap fish. We saved good fish to sell. I had teeth at that time. I wasn't an old lady at that time. I could still chew. In my midstream area, there is a saying a salangit there is a can provide a seven days of nutrition, although days of now nutrition. her main diet is vegetable. She still remembers. She saved the salangit for her daughter-in-law as extra nutrition. I'm now living with my daughter-in-law, who takes care of me. Okay, it's time for the protagonist of this section to enter the stage. Salangid, which is only 10 centimeters long, looks quite petite. But it's high quality nutrition. Overweighs this disadvantage in size. The proportion of essential amino acids contained in it accounts for 40% of the total amino acids. These are all essential amino acids. Humans need to take in from because nature. Because the human body cannot synthesize them itself. Wild salangid is rare. Salangid and steamed is the egg. most famous traditional nourishing dish in the local area. A harmonious blend of flavors of egg and salangid is created during the process of steaming. Children can get hurt all the time. For example, they might bump their the head. parents will make salangid and for women who for just them. give birth or are just prior to they delivery. They will eat a bowl of salangid and steamed so that they egg. can get stronger and more prepared for it the delivery. It doesn't look fancy. But this never stops people from loving it. Wild salangid is rare and very difficult to catch. You only have a chance to see them under certain weather conditions. I am river and lake. I have seen many human novels where the martial art masters always travel alone. But most of the fishermen who really sail around me have peers. This person will be at the prow. That old man is our cook. That man is responsible for pulling the, the net on shore. For fish. In windy days, Salangid will get confused by big waves. The bigger the wind, the easier to catch Salangid. I started fishing on boat at the age of 18. history of catching Salangid goes back which to is my, my grandfather's great, great grandfather. My grandfather was also a Salangid catcher.
please bless us. Please let the four of us safe on the lake. Mr. Zhang's boat with two ears at the is stern. the same age as him. He inherited it from his father. The only thing that can make these willing old men to drift on the lake is probably the Salinger. These little guys approach and leave without any trace. They are just one finger long and beside a black eye on the head. Their whole body is transparent. Like other small fish, during daytime, in order to avoid they hide enemy. everywhere and even dive to the bottom, you can see a vague shape of them only when the light fades out. For any inexperienced fisherman, they will be fooled by their stealth. But Zhang has his own way to deal with them. He has an ancestral secret weapon, a net with meshes with a diameter of only 7 millimeters. This is passed down from my ancestors. People over a hundred years ago. Where can people catch the salmon? In this area, some current is going upstream while some downstream. And the current is a little faster. They like to stay here. Generally, Salinger is living by the shore. How many did you catch with one cast? Three. A bigger wind might help. It's difficult to catch them under such a high temperature. The Salinger does not come out when the temperature is high. This is wild Salinger. It's different from the farmed one in the market. The tail looks different. The farmed ones are black here. You mean the farmed one has a black tail? What this about is the not wild black. one? Look. Today Zhang and his crew have cast several times, but only caught dozens of Salinger. Sometimes I feel sorry for them. Their hard work for half a day didn't have much return. But it looks that since they caught varied fish and had a decent meal. They enjoy the process. Idio far greater than the result. I like to fish in Poyang Lake. Poyang Lake is fun. I have been fishing all the time and it's interesting. So many people are looking forward for US to come out to catch Salinger. While Mr. Zhang is enjoying his meal, the two ears protruding from the stern are playing their role. Freshly caught Salinger must be dried immediately. After coming out of water, wild will die within 5 to 10 minutes. This is the moment when bacteria preemptively occupy its inner body. Fresh Salinger has a water content of about 80%. When the water content is less than 25%. Bacteria cannot grow. Mold can't grow either when it is less than 15%. In addition, drying can also destroy the original cell structure to promote the doing of enzymes and seal the flavor molecules inside the body of Salinger. In order to preserve this delicacy, you go to all the trouble to sun dry it and soak it again before cooking it to get the water back. You're making much ado. Not far away, there is a group of noisy fishermen helpers. They are swimming and fishing in animal world. I have heard your ancestors call them black ghost, fish otter or shao -ai. Here I choose to call them directly with their scientific name.
Cormant is a natural swimmer. Its diving depth is generally 1 to 3 meters, while the deepest can reach more than 10 meters. It can stay underwater for up to 70 seconds, and it is an extremely stubborn catcher. It can leave home in order to hunt down a prey. My grandfather had a very good cormorant once. It was an especially good fish catcher. Grandfather said it found a fish of more than 40 kilograms, so it just followed the fish for three days and caught it on the fourth day. But not all the cormorants are excellent catchers. Some are good because they have innate superiority. And some acquired skills from their hard work. Cormorants like teamwork. Apprenticeship is their natural way of training. A senior bird will be the mentor in the past of a rookie they could bird. learn for three years. Now they have to start their internship in water in three months. Of course they have an alpha dog or alpha bird. The in best this fish case. catcher is the leader. It will take the lead. Those poor catchers. Just follow the leader to catch big fish together. But no matter how strong the postnatal training Nature is, Nature always wins. There are always some naughty or lazy bone cormorants. In the flock there are bad guys and also good Just giants. like humor, the bad guys always try to escape. They don't want to work, they just we want will to catch escape them when they run away. And train them slowly. It will take more time to train the bad ones. A good cormorant can catch more than 15 kilograms of fish a day. The best record of cormorant fishing With a is fish 35 source. kilogram. which is about the same as net fishing. The cormorant fishing business was once flourishing on the lake. But in recent years, because of the requirements it is of ecological allowed. rehabilitation, only in this area. Time flies like my currents flowing eastward unstoppably. The fisherman has grown from a child to an old man. The once rookie cormorants also get old. Of course my heart aches when I have to let I'm them go. I'm telling you, but when they're getting too old to catch fish, I have to let them go. I can't bear it either, but I have no choice. It's not just one bird, every bird will get old. And you have to free them. In a way seemingly ruthless, but indeed respectful of the nature, the fisherman leaves some final For his time. old helpers. Death is necessary to make way for the newborn. When going eastward along the terrain, in the downstream zone, I become extremely open 1990 because I am going to join the sea. At this junction point, my fresh water is mixed with the salty water of the ocean. This is an excellent living environment for many species. For example, these creatures of 10 feet, they were born at the junction, before they then go upstream to find a freshwater lake to settle down. They only come back here when it's time to give birth to the next generation. They have an interesting name. Chinese mitten crab. Due to the catching fluff on their feet. But the locals have a nickname for them. The old hairy crab. Such intimacy actually means you are very familiar with them. Many people ask me what my favorite food is. I always is. answer that. It's crab without hesitation. When I was a teenager, I used to make a wish. I hope I can eat crabs everywhere I live. Every year when the autumn wind blows, adult hairy crabs will leave the freshwater lake. Go back to my estuary, get
get ready to mate and have children. The next summer, small hairy crabs begin to swim upstream. They molt their shell and grow up along the way. It will take them about six months to return to freshwater lake. Before they fully mature, they can molt their shell up to 18 times in their life. This is the most vivid life ritual in my downstream area. And people living by my side, facing the open ocean, seem to be edified by the delicate sense of ritual too, instead of living in a shell for a lifetime. I remember when I was little, would have my six grand to eight side dishes for their breakfast. No matter how trivial it is, like half they of the would still tofu. cut it into small pieces. Shanghai has given me a revelation. No matter how your environment is, you can create some sense of ritual for yourself. Gu Yi came back to China from abroad a few years ago. Like a hairy crab, he finally came back to where he was born. He runs a restaurant in Shanghai. To continue the taste of his nostalgia that I brought to him. Good morning, Mr. Did Gu. this batch come today? That's right. This batch seems to be about the Generally, same Generally, we only choose crabs. 100 grams to 125 grams. There is a dish called drunken crab. Traditionally, wine preserved drunken crab, crab is served raw. You marinate the raw crab and then preserve it with rice wine. But when we observed how our we customers We realized died, raw food is not so popular. With some customers, especially women. And children. Then we changed the way of cooking to then wine preserved. Then we found out customers cooked. really liked it. Get some hairy crab soaked in light salt water before and add some shaoxing rice wine at least 5 Marinate years old. Marinate for 24 hours. Wait until the alcohol volatilizes to the right level. Then put the crab and ingredients such as scallion, green ginger, plum and sauco brown to the pot. sugar. And heat them together. The dish is ready when the brown sugar completely melts. Chill it before serving. Do he hopes his restaurant can bring warmth to the customers? I want to create a kind of moderate warmth. That is mine. I don't want to spoil the diners with gluttony, which might hurt them. I think many modern have a people, disorder of choice, especially when he is given to many I'd choices. That I tell there them. are only ten dishes in the menu, but each and every dish is delicious. That's enough. The art of subtraction. Don't give them so many choices for just there a meal. There are already too many choices in their life. I am river and lake. Today, can I still continue to offer a variety of choices? To nourish you three meals a day, 1,000 meals a year. I am river and lake. From upstream to downstream, from the river bank to the middle of the lake, from wild fish and prawn to farmed ones. I have traveled thousands of kilometers. Ingredients born along the waterway once nourished dynasties and civilizations for thousands of years. I hope I can recover the ability to nourish everything that I am supposed to have. Perhaps one day with fire and soup stock. Be it strong flavor or delicate taste, we can hold hands together for a future-oriented journey of